member for Bass for that comment. Uh, I call the member for Canberra. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, I rise today to talk about the NDIS. Um, and one of the things I've been most pleased to be involved in since being elected last year is to be a member of the Joint Standing Committee on the NDIS um, and be able to have a role in holding the government to account on delivering this vital scheme, um, which unfortunately is not and is still not delivering the choice and control that was promised to people with disability when Labor delivered this great reform. And this government is just not putting the focus on it that it needs um, to get the implementation right. So this week, um, the Capital Region Community Services Organisation, formerly of Elconnan Community Service here in Canberra, has been forced to close their community support programs for NDIS participants due to the unnecessary complexity of the latest NDIS price guide. Now, before going into politics, I was the president at Belcon and Community Services on their board, and I know firsthand the battle that they have had to try and continue to, live, to deliver those services, um, and the effort and dedication of that community organisation has put into trying to make that work. So it's very sad to hear that that has finally um, been the outcome. And that means that 84 participants and their families will no longer be able to access vital programs such as dance, drama, art and other education sessions. The Canberra Region Community Service has negotiated with the NDIA over the last few years, imploring them to make the price guide easy for providers to use so that they could continue to deliver these services without this complication every